You may be given a mild sedative to relax you, but you won't be asleep because the cardiologist needs your cooperation to complete the tests. You may keep items like eyeglasses, hearing aids, and dentures with you throughout the test. As you enter the procedure room, one of the first things you'll notice is that it's full of impressive looking equipment. The room itself may feel cold to you because the highly specialized x-ray machines operate best in a cool environment. Be sure and tell the nurse if you feel cold. There will be a blanket nearby to keep you comfortable. You'll lie on a narrow table with thin padding. Most people find it pretty uncomfortable, but this narrow, firm surface is necessary to get the best x-ray images. Some patients will be asked to lie with their arms overhead during all or part of the procedure. Both sides of your groin will be scrubbed with antimicrobial soap and shaved prior to the procedure to prevent infection. EKG leads will be attached to your chest so your heart can be monitored. Marks may be made at pulse points on your feet so your circulation can be easily monitored during and after the procedure. Once you're covered with sterile drapes, the x-ray machine will be positioned over your chest. You'll be given an injection of local anesthetic into your upper leg. You might notice a slight burning or stinging sensation as the anesthetic is injected. When the site is numb, your cardiologist will insert a small tube called a sheath into the artery in your leg. Okay, Ms. Tebow, we have a longer the, uh, catheter, catheter can, can then be threaded now. through the sheath up to the coronary arteries. Okay. You may feel some pressure at the insertion site, but you won't feel the catheter as it moves through your arteries. Take a little bit of a breath in, please. Hold it. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. And let it out. Feel okay? Be sure to let the cardiologist and other medical staff know if you experience discomfort or chest pain at any time during the procedure. Coronary angiograms are performed using sterile technique, so all staff present will wear surgical attire. The x-ray pictures taken during the coronary angiogram will help your cardiologist assess the condition of your coronary arteries and recommend appropriate treatment. When your cardiologist determines which intervention is best for you, the appropriate catheters and other devices will be inserted through the sheaths. Contrast solution will be injected periodically so the physician can check the effectiveness of the procedure. It's common to feel a warm sensation or flushed feeling as the contrast solution flows through your body. Many patients experience discomfort during balloon inflation or while plaque is being broken up. This is because blood flow is temporarily restricted. It's important to let the cardiologist and nurses know when you experience angina or chest discomfort so it can be treated. The cardiologist will take final angiogram pictures at the end of the procedure to verify that the desired results have been achieved. The length of time to complete your procedure will vary, but is most commonly one to two hours. You'll be taken to a special unit with one or more IVs still in place and you may receive an additional EKG. Your heart and other vital signs will be closely monitored in this special unit. If you received a stent, IV and oral medications may be ordered to keep platelets from collecting on the stent, which could lead to a reocclusion or obstruction. For your comfort during sheath removal, You'll be given medication and then a nurse or technician will apply firm pressure to the puncture site for at least 20 to 45 minutes. In some cases, pressure may be maintained using a mechanical device. A small transparent dressing or bandage will be placed over the puncture site. You will continue on bed rest for a period of hours as ordered by your physician. Nursing staff will monitor your vital signs and check the puncture site frequently for signs of re-bleeding. The head of your bed may be raised slightly. You'll be encouraged to drink lots of fluids to help flush the dye from your system. Remember to keep your head on the pillow when you eat or drink. Your activity level will increase gradually in the hospital 
and continue once you return home. You'll receive discharge instructions about diet, medications, puncture site care, activity level, and your follow-up appointment. You'll need to arrange for someone to drive you home, and it's a good idea to have someone with you the first 24 hours back at home. Recovery from the procedure itself will occur fairly rapidly, but recovering your health usually involves making permanent lifestyle changes. Interventional cardiology procedures may relieve your symptoms, but it's up to you to follow your health care provider's recommendations for living a heart-healthy life. <laughs>